security challenges, in our opinion, seem to have overwhelmed our security institutions. The governors are supposed to be the state security officers of their state. There is need for us to at least engage the traditional rulers. We need to do something about our porous borders. We have to own it from the unit level to the world level to the local government to stay. Mr. President, the importance of today for us is for us to take action. Those in favor say aye. Those against say nay. The eyes have been. We need technology to drive our agriculture. Senate makes case for the establishment of an agricultural technology college in Benue State. I am confident we are ready to be forthcoming with our and suggestions. Senate President calls for a better approach for the enhancement of accountancy practice in Nigeria as public hearing on Anand Law gets underway. This is Inside the Senate and I am Husseina Amina Aboki, your regular host. This week's episode of the program contains reports of some of the activities that took place in the Red Chamber shortly before the Idil Kabir break. During the period, lawmakers considered bills seeking the establishment of an agricultural technology college in Benue South Senatorial District, a federal medical center establishment bill, amongst other bills at various stages of consideration. We will complete this package with a report of the public hearing organized by the Senate Committee on Establishment and Public Service on the Association of National Accountants of Nigeria, ANAN, Amendment Bill 2022. Join me after this short break for the full package. The Senate to send a message to the President to reap opportunities from that raise a matter of urgent public importance and we are aware that when this particular motion comes up for a longer term development arrives to second the motion those in favor of this prayer say aye, aye. those against say nay the ayes have it thanks for being with us as it were the senate is currently on the break it took to celebrate the idol kabir we will therefore start the program with some of the bills treated at various levels of consideration before the break. One of them, which was sponsored by Senator Apple Moro and presented for second reading on Tuesday the 28th of June 2022, was the bill for an act to establish the Federal College of Agricultural Technology of Kualu Ojako, Benue State. In his presentation, Senator Apple Moro disclosed that agriculture with its allied sectors are undeniably the biggest livelihood provider in Nigeria, especially in rural areas, and contribute significantly to the country's gross domestic products, GDP, adding that the demand for agricultural products is daily on the increase, with increase in population and per capita income, as well as growing demand for the industrial sector. The Federal College of Agricultural Technology of Yalu Ojapo, when established, will train and produce morally sound graduates to become self-employed in the area of science and agriculture, establish linkages and collaboration with other policymakers, research institutes and training institutions, produce technicians capable of carrying out routine preventive measures and advisory services in livestock, fishery and crop production, promote capacity building through outreach programs, vocational training, continuous education, among others, in the area of science and agriculture, promote youth development and empowerment opportunities through entrepreneurial and agricultural activities. In their submissions, supporters of the bill lamented that even when Benue State is labelled the food basket of the nation as a result of the involvement of 80% of its citizens in agriculture, it still lags behind in the deployment of modern agricultural techniques. The practices, agricultural practices of the population is that which was done 100 or 200 years back because of lack of knowledge of modern practices as canvas for uh, in this bill. And therefore, we need for this bill to come into effect as a law 
so that we establish this institute that will help the citizens of Benue State, the indigenous of Benue State, uh, to update and uplift their practices in this arena. I would like to remind us that uh, agriculture is the single largest employer of labor in this country. Unfortunately, our agricultural practices are still primitive. It can be said, as my colleague has said, Benue is the food basket of Nigeria. In fact, Benue State has the capacity to feed the entire nation. But because of the way we practice agriculture in the country, we still run short of uh, uh, food in the country. We need technology to drive our agriculture. Therefore, the bill calling for the establishment of the Federal College of Agriculture, Agricultural Technology in uh, Opialo, Ajapo, in Benue State is timely. When the question was put, the bill scaled second reading and was referred to the Committee on Agriculture to report back in four weeks. Other bills were considered by the Senate before the short recess. For details of these, let's take this report as presented and compiled from our studio. On the recommitment of the Federal Medical Center's Establishment Bill 2022. First was the Federal Medical Center's Establishment Bill 2022. The bill was earlier on passed by the National Assembly and transmitted to President Mahmoud Buhari for assent. However, the bill was recommitted to the Senate as a result of the following reasons enunciated by the Deputy Leader of the Senate, Senator Ajayi Gorofej, in a motion on the 29th of June 2022. Some fundamental issues which require fresh legislative action by both chambers of the National Assembly emerged after a critical analysis of the bill by Mr. President and Commander-in-Chief. The Technical Committee of the Senate and House of Representatives and Directorate of Legal Services met and worked on the bill. Senate rely on Order 1B and Order 52, Subsection C of Senate Standing Order 2022 as amended. As a result, the Senate, as a resolution, rescinded its decision on the bill as earlier on passed and recommitted it to the Committee of the Whole. In the Committee of the Whole, the bill was reconsidered clause by clause after which the Senate clerk made the pronouncement for its passage. A bill for now to provide for the legal framework to establish the federal medical centers for their due management and administration and for related matters 2022. Third reading. A bill for an act to provide for the legal framework to establish the federal medical centers for their due management and administration and for related matters 2022. Third reading taken and the bill is passed. Similarly, several bills also scaled first reading before the Edith Kabir break. They included Central Bank of Nigeria CBN Act Amendment Bill 2022 sponsored by Senator Sahabi Yao, National Planning Process Bill 2022 sponsored by Senator Fyodor Oji, Made in Nigeria Goods Bill 2022 sponsored by Senator Uche Ekunife, National Kidney Center Establishment Bill 2022 sponsored by Senator Baral Jibril, as well as a House of Representatives Bill National Social Investment Program Establishment Bill 2022. In the same vein, some other bills originating from the House of Representatives were also presented for concurrence. Among them were Public Enterprises Privatization and Commercialization Act Repeal and Reenactment Bill 2022, Orthopedic Hospitals Management Board Act Amendment Bill 2022, Chartered Institute of Social Work Practitioners Establishment Bill 2022. Nigeria Council for Social Work Establishment Bill 2022, as well as Chartered Institute of Professional Secretarial of Nigeria Establishment Bill 2022. Meanwhile, the Senate before the break considered the request of President Muhammad Buhari for the confirmation of the nomination of Muhammad Bello for appointment as Chairman Revenue Mobilization Allocation and Fiscal Commission. The motion on this was presented by the Deputy Senate Leader, the Ajay Borofi. The purpose of this motion on the other paper it was the request of Mr. President, Commander-in-Chief, to be referred to the relevant committee for further legislative action. Those in favor of the motion that the Senate do consider the request of Mr. President, C&C, &C, 
on the confirmation of the nomination of Mohamed Bello for appointment as Chairman of Revenue Mobilization Allocation and Fiscal Commission in accordance with the provision of Section 154, Subsection 1 of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Say aye. Those against any that I said. As a result, the request was referred to the Senate Committee on National Planning to report back in four weeks. Those were some of the bills considered by the Senate before its short break. Let's now take a short break for our notebook segment. Don't go away. Unless otherwise directed by the Senate, the Senate Standing Rule provides for the sequence of its daily proceedings in the following order. 1. Formal entry of the Senate President into the Chamber. 2. Prayers. 3. Approval of votes and proceedings. 4. Oath or affirmation of allegiance on new Senator or Senator-elect if any. 5. Message from the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria if any. 6. Announcement by the President of the Senate. 7. Petitions. 8. Matters of urgent public importance. 9. Personal explanation. And 10. Order of the day. Welcome back. Now to the committee room, where Senate President Ahmad Lawan emphasized on the need for the enhancement of the practice of accountancy in Nigeria. He gave the emphasis while declaring open a public hearing on the Association of National Accountants of Nigeria, ANAN, Act 2004, Amendment Bill 2022. Let's take this report of the hearing alongside other matters as compiled and presented from our studio. It is in the light of these new realities that we are here today. Represented at the hearing by the Deputy Leader of the Senate, Senator Ajayi Borofis, Senator Ahmed Lawan stated that the enhancement has become necessary in view of the importance of these sectors to the nation's economy, which often require a methodical management approach. The approach depends on a vibrant association working through rules, regulations and ethics that also need regular reviews in the light of changing realities. It is in the light of these new realities that we are here today for our contributions to the crucial proposals. I am confident we are ready to be forthcoming with our suggestions given the adequate preparations the committee has made for us all. In a vote of thanks, Senator Emmanuel Okejev, who is a member of the committee, spoke on the importance of according stakeholders the opportunity to voice their opinions on legislative matters. Section 60 of the 1999 Constitution gives the National Assembly the powers to regulate its own proceedings. Now, pursuant to that, we have given ourselves what we call standing rules. And in that standing rule, we have laid out the procedure for an occasion like this, that even though we are representatives of the people, we will not pass any law or any bill into law without consulting the stakeholders in, in that arena. It is pursuant to that that you are invited here. Today is not our day. During the second hearing, uh, members, the senators, had their own debate, the pros and cons of this particular piece of legislation. With this, the floor was open for stakeholders' contributions. Uh, professor uh, Benjamin uh, Chuka Kosisioma, a retired professor of accountancy from the Nam Yazikwe University, Oka Anambra State, and currently president of the Association of National Accountants of Nigeria, ANAN, said that the amendment being sought is informed by three basic issues. First, we want to consolidate certain changes that have emerged over the years in the... Um, implementation of the Annan law. Secondly, we want to chart a path to the future to strengthen uh, the, the association by giving it very firm legal roots so that we'll be able to fulfill the tasks we've taken upon ourselves for the Nigerian nation. And then thirdly and very most importantly, we want to build bridges and extend handshakes 
to all stakeholders in finance accounting discipline. The Association of National Accountants of Nigeria. In their contribution, the Chartered Institute of Taxation of Nigeria, represented by its vice chairman, gave reasons for supporting the bill as being the need for cohesion, harmony, and confidence in the nation's financial sector. We are in support of what Anna is doing, while we also appreciate what they have done and their contribution to the financial sector in the past uh, years. The Charter Institute of Taxation of Nigeria, having reviewed the proposed amendment, Amendment B, wish to acknowledge the Governing Council of Anna for taking the initiative to approve the upper legislative chamber to give legal backing to new dimensions of expectations from the accountant which have changed following advances in business model and dynamics of modern economic systems globally. The Taxpayers' Rights Initiative of Nigeria was also on ground to support the passage of the bill. They were represented by their president, Kamorudin Adigun. What we have come to do is to support the dynamism of the Association of National Accountants in response, in response to the new global order. There's no doubt globalization and technologies has revolutionized the way businesses are done. If Anan is coming up with this dynamism in addition to the initiative, lofty initiative of College of Accountancy that provide an environment where accountants are trained. I think they deserve a commendation and a support. Of course, in The support. Chartered Institute of Forensics and Certified Fraud Anna. Examiners of Nigeria Amen. were represented Amen. by a member of their board of trustees, who is also the deputy bursar of the Benue State University, Madam Shiva Ray. She touched on some of the points that underscored their reasons for supporting the bill. I want to begin by saying that the Chartered Institute of Forensics and Certified Fraud Examiners of Nigeria, it's a baby of Anna aimed at contributing to the fight against corruption and fraud in this country, which we know has eaten into almost every fabric of this nation. And to go further to say that we support all the amendments that have been proposed by this institute. While supporting the amendment as well as acknowledging that both the Association of National Accountants of Nigeria, ANAN, as well as the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria, ICANN, are partners in progress, a representative of ICANN at the hearing gave the position of his institute on the amendment. ANAN is our brother and we recognize that. The only area we want ANAN to think about in this amendment is the area of the qualification that the, the, the designation of their qualification. The original act setting up Annan intended that there should be a differentiation between the Annan qualification designation and that of uh, ICANN. In this amendment, Annan wants to um, designate their qualification as chartered national accountant. And ICANN is of the view that there has to be a differentiation in the market between the two because already ICANN is known as chartered. With Annan coming on board and taking on certified national accountants, we are happy with that. Because in other jurisdictions actually, like in Australia, they have the chartered accountant and they have the certified public accountant, CPA, and the CA. So we want Anand to adopt this kind of model so that we have certified national accountant. And then the icon that started in 1965 continues to bear his uh, chartered. More contributions were taken on the bill as stakeholders voiced their support for its passage, describing it as a plus to the practice of accountancy in Nigeria. The committee chairman promised to compile a report on the hearing to be presented to Senate plenary for more legislative action. 
will now take a break for our profile segment. Stay tuned for our Senator of the Week. Senator Hezekiah Ayuba Dimka was born in Kabuiri, Kanke local government area of Plato State. He attended primary schools in Kabuiri in Plato State and Azare in Bochi State for his first school living certificate, as well as government secondary school Azare from 1968 to 1972 for his West African school certificate WASC. From there, he joined the Nigerian police as a cadet officer after undergoing an officer cadet training at the police college Ikeja, Lagos in 1973. Thereafter, Senator Dimka served in the special branch now known as the SSS as a crime detective before being converted back to full police general duties. In the course of his duties as a policeman, Senator Dimka served as ADC to former Governor of Bauchi State Alhaji Abubakar Tatari Ali in 1978. He also served as Divisional Police Officer DPO in different parts of the country and commanded mobile police squadrons in Lagos and Maiduguri. He was also in charge of the railway police as well as the Murtala Mohammed International Airport commands among others as Commissioner of Police. While on duty, Senator Dimka enrolled as a student of Benue State University where he earned a Bachelor of Science and a Master of Science degrees in Public Administration in 2002. As Commissioner of Police, Senator Dimka rose to the position of the Quartermaster General of the Nigerian Police at the Police Headquarters Abuja before heading Delta State Command in 2008. Before retirement, Senator Hezekiah Dinka backed awards and recognition within the Nigerian Police Force like Best Commissioner of Police Southeast Zone from 2003 to 2004, Award of Honor from Imo State House of Assembly for Development and Defense of Democracy and Rule of Law, 1999 to 2003, among others. He retired from the Nigerian police in 2008 after a meritorious service and joined politics in 2015. He contested for the position of senator in the 2019 general elections and won to represent Plateau South Senatorial District on the platform of APC. In the Senate, he is chairman Senate Committee on Drugs and Narcotics and a member of several other committees. His legislative interests include security, education, agriculture as well as youth and women empowerment. This is where we end this episode of the program. If you missed any part of the program, do follow our YouTube channel for details. Thanks for watching.